Dinner on trail is my most favorite meal of the day. It's the meal I look forward to the most. It's the time of day on trail where I always cook my meal because having a warm meal at the end of a long day full of hiking is super satisfying. Today I'm going to share with you some cheap and easy backpacking food dinner options that can be all found at the grocery store. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to get notified anytime I add new videos. Hey guys, my name is Kathleen, former PCT through hiker, avid Pacific Northwest day hiker, and the Hungry Hiker here on YouTube. And this is Tucker. In this video, I'm going to focus on dinner, my most favorite meal of the day when out on trail. I'll feature over 10 different options that are cheap and easy to make and can be found at any grocery store. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of the brands mentioned in this video. These are all dinner options I enjoyed myself either while going on overnight backpacking trips or meals I ate while through hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. All right, let's go. Instant mashed potatoes are a staple in any backpacker's food bag. They're cheap, come in a bunch of different flavors, are easy to cook, and found in every grocery store. I like to take instant mashed potatoes up a notch by adding a gravy packet and some jerky. Here's how to make instant mashed potatoes. First, add two cups of water to your pot, boil the water, remove pot from heat, and add in the entire packet of mashed potatoes. Then once the potatoes are mixed, add in a powdered gravy packet and some jerky, and enjoy. One trail serving of this contains an entire packet of mashed potatoes and one packet of powder gravy. This one comes to $3.88 per serving for a total of 520 calories. Since I've already created a video featuring the one pot Thanksgiving dinner recipe, I'll put a link to the video in the description below as well as in the top right hand corner. The one pot Thanksgiving dinner recipe comes out to $6 per serving with jerky and about $4 per serving without the jerky for a total of 538 calories. Nor's rice and noodle sides are another cheap and easy food option that's always found in most grocery stores. Not only are they cheap and easy to cook, but they come in a bunch of different varieties. To switch this one up and for extra calories and protein, you can always add pre-cooked sausage. Just throw them in with your side when cooking, and instead of adding milk or butter to the side, substitute it for either a carnation breakfast essentials packet, which is pretty much milk anyways, or add coconut milk powder and throw in a packet of olive oil or coconut oil for extra flavor and calories. Here's how to make Nor's rice noodle sides. First, add two cups of water to your pot, boil the water, add the entire packet of Nor's rice or noodle sides to the boiling water and a packet of coconut oil or a tablespoon of olive oil and mix together. If desired, add in four tablespoons of coconut milk powder and a half a cup of water and mix this together before adding to the Nor rice or noodle side. Cover and let simmer for a couple minutes. After a couple minutes, remove the pot from the heat and let sit covered in a stove cozy for about 10 to 15 minutes, allowing the rest of the meal to rehydrate and cook without using a bunch of fuel. After 10 to 15 minutes, remove the pot from the koozie, give the dish a stir, and enjoy. This one comes out to $2.47 per serving for a total of 700 calories, which includes the coconut milk powder and the extra oil. The Idahoan hearty soup mixes are kind of like instant mashed potatoes, only in a soup form. Similar taste, different texture. To mix this one up, you can add a half a cup of instant rice, jerky, or pre-cooked sausage when cooking the soup. I'd recommend splitting the bag into two Ziploc bags for two servings. Here's how to make the soup. First, add two cups of water to your pot, boil the water, add in half the package of soup mix and mix together, remove from heat, cover the pot, and let this one sit in the stove koozie for about five minutes. After the five minutes are up, remove from the stove koozie or heat and let sit for a couple minutes to cool down, then enjoy. One trail serving of this contains half a package of the soup. This one comes out to $1.34 per serving for a total of 380 calories. Who needs those super expensive freeze-dried meals when you have similar cheaper options in the grocery store? Take a trip down the soup aisle and you'll find a wide variety of soup mixes in bags including Bear Creek's Darn Good Chili. In addition to adding water, you will need tomato paste, which you can get in a tube making this very backpacker friendly. To get really fancy, add in a pre-cooked sausage and top this one off with cheese and avocado. Since this one has to sit in the pot for about 20 to 25 minutes before eating, I'd recommend start cooking this one before you set up camp for the evening. 
seasoning. Here's how you make the chili. First, divide the bag up into four servings. Each bag has eight servings, so one serving equals a third a cup of dry mix. For a trail serving, I like to double that, so add two thirds cup of dry mix to each Ziploc bag. Mix together the dry mix, one cup of water, three tablespoons of tomato paste, and an optional sausage to your pot. Boil the water. Once water has come to a boil, remove from heat, cover, and set in a stove cozy for about 20 to 25 minutes. While the chili does its thing in the pot, this would be a great time to set up your tent and sleeping system for the evening. After you've set up your tent and sleeping system, it should be time to uncover the chili and eat. Want to get extra fancy and some more calories? Top off the chili with cheese and avocado. Adding in a pre-cooked sausage, avocado, and cheese will add extra calories, a slight extra cost, a little extra weight in your food bag, and lots of extra flavor. Without the extra fixings, this one comes out to $2.05 per serving for a total of 280 calories. The Tasty Bite pre-prepared Indian entrees are a wee bit heavier and the most expensive option on this list. But the really tasty, have interesting flavor profiles, are easy to make in your pot, and have a decent number of calories, and they're also pretty filling. If you're looking for more calories, add a pre-cooked ready-to-serve rice packet. My favorite is the Seeds of Change Organic 7 Whole Grains. Want to make this meal super hiker trash and get in a few more calories? Wrap the entree with rice in a tortilla, something which you'll probably already have in your food bag. Here's how to cook one of these pouches on trail. Open the entree pouch, add contents to your pot, turn on the heat and cook Cook for about three to four minutes until hot. Add the rice packet and heat until boiling. Then let this one sit covered for a couple of minutes. This one can either be eaten directly from the pot or place contents from the pot in a tortilla and enjoy. This one comes out to be $7.48 per serving for a total of 690 calories. Ramen is a staple in every backpacker and through hiker's diet. It's cheap, easy to make, easily accessible in most stores, and it's versatile. Starting with a traditional ramen variation, add two cups of water to your pot, boil the water, add one package of ramen to the boiling water, cook for about two minutes, remove from heat, add the seasoning packet, and mix, and then enjoy. From here, you can switch up the flavor profiles and increase the calories for this meal by adding either chicken creation chicken packet for more calories and protein, or two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter to make the sauce thicker and into a backcountry pad thai variation with even more protein and calories. Just for the ramen alone, this one comes out to 39 cents per serving for a total of 380 calories. In my previous video featuring cheap and easy grocery store backpacking food lunch options, I featured a few different ramen variations. Click the link in the description below to check out that video. Mushroom miso ramen is another easy to cook ramen variation you can put together out on trail. Here's what you'll need for this one. Two tablespoons of miso paste, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of sesame oil, two cups of water, a fourth a cup of sliced mushrooms prepped ahead of time, one package of ramen, two tablespoons of chopped green onions prepped ahead of time, and one egg. To cook, add the miso paste, soy sauce, rice vinegar, sesame oil, water, and mushrooms into your pot. Turn on the stove and heat to a boil. Simmer for about two to three minutes and then add the noodles. Cook until the noodles are done and then scramble an egg and add to the broth to cook. Then garnish with green onions and enjoy. This one comes out to $4.79 per serving for a total of 795 calories. I've been getting a lot of questions from people asking what they can do with the leftover seasoning packets they don't use when cooking ramen. Here's an idea. Add one cup of water to your pot, boil the water, add one cup of either instant rice or couscous, remove pot from heat, cover and let sit for five minutes, preferably in a stove koozie, uncover and add ramen seasoning packet, mix together, and enjoy. In addition to using leftover ramen seasoning packets, you can also make this one with taco seasoning packet. This one includes two servings of either instant rice or couscous and a packet of ramen and comes to about 65 cents per serving for a total of 400 calories. Ramen bombs are notorious on long distance trails. This is when hiker hunger hits and no matter how much food or how often you eat, you're always hungry. Ramen bombs combine a few different easy to cook items from your food bag into one pot for a calorie heavy meal. To make a ramen bomb variation number one, add two cups of water to your pot, boil the water, add ramen, seasoning packet, and one ounce of beef or turkey jerky. Mix together and let simmer for two minutes. Add a half a pouch of the instant mashed potatoes and stir. Remove from the heat and let sit covered for a couple more minutes and then enjoy. 
This one comes out to $2.86 per serving for a total of 515 calories. To make ramen bomb variation number two, add two cups of water to your pot, boil the water, add ramen, seasoning packet, and a Chicken Creations chicken pouch. Mix and let simmer for two minutes. Add a half a cup of instant rice and mix, then remove from heat, cover, and let sit for five minutes, and then enjoy. This one comes out to $3.26 per serving for a total of 600 and 30 calories. Pro tip, want to use the right amount of water on trail for your recipes but don't want to bring measuring cups? Before getting on trail, measure out water in measuring cups and add it to your pot. Most pots will have measuring lines on the inside, so note where a half a cup of water comes up to or one cup of water, and then that way when you're on trail, you can eyeball the right amount of water needed in your pot without needing to use a measuring cup. Want to see more grocery store backpacking food videos? I've put together videos featuring my favorite cheap and easy breakfast and lunch options, all of which can be found at the grocery store. Check out the description below for links to these videos. Enjoy this video? Give it a thumbs up! Yeah! And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified each time I add a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy trails and keep on trucking! I'll feature over 10 different options that are cheap and easy to make and can be found in any grocery store. I love you too. Do you want to be on YouTube? Are you a good boy? <gasps> Say hi to YouTube, Tucker. Tucker is modified hiker trash. Tucker is my spirit animal. We feel the same way about food. We get very excited. Sometimes there's a little bit of foaming at the mouth. We like treats. Huh, we love treats. Oh, I love you. Can you give me a high five?